How dogs can manipulate us with their eyes. Tell me something. Who doesn't like puppies? I can't imagine anyone not liking a puppy. They're so cute and funny and very friendly, and they can make us very happy. Speaking for myself, I can't resist when I see one. I always want to pet them. How can I resist those eyes? I look into them and I just have to pet the dog. I don't know, they have something I can't resist. Their eyes just win me over. But the question is this. Why are we so mesmerized by dogs' eyes? That's what we're going to discuss today. Hi, my name is Justice, and today we will discover how dogs can manipulate us with their eyes. If you think puppies are man's best friend and some of the cutest animals on earth, subscribe by clicking on the link below. Don't forget to like this amazing video too, so YouTube alerts you every time we post a video. I know, that's awesome. Ever wonder how dogs learn to use their puppy eyes to bend us to their will? It turns out our pet pooches have evolved human-like eyebrow muscles, which let them make the sad face that melts our hearts according to a new study published on Monday in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, PNAS. The first part of the study tried to find our best friend's ancestry. They traced it back 33,000 years to a relative much more like the wolves than the dogs we know today, the domesticated ones. They used puppy samples, but don't worry, no puppies were harmed in the taking of these samples. A separate part of the study saw scientists videotaping two-minute interactions between dogs and a human stranger, then repeating the experiment with wolves to closely track how much they use a specific muscle around the eyes that produces an inner eyebrow raise. Researchers have found that dogs have evolved muscles around their eyes, which allows them to make expressions that particularly appeal to humans. The evidence is compelling that dogs developed a muscle to raise the inner eyebrow after they were domesticated from wolves. A small facial muscle allows dogs' eyes to be infant-like. As the researchers said, it makes the eye look larger, which is similar to human infants. It triggers a nurturing response in people. They're manipulating us because they're pretending they're our babies. Since the muscles were robust in the dogs, but not wolves, that tells us that the muscles and its functions are selected, she added. The study says such puppy eyes help domesticated dogs to bond with humans. Previous studies have shown how such canine expressions can appeal to humans, but this research from the UK and the US shows that it has been anatomically changed around dogs' eyes to make it possible. Now let's get an understanding of some of their expressive eyebrows. Oh my goodness, it's so cute! <laughs> if you agree with me, give this video a thumbs up. And also share some comments about your experiences with your puppies. This allows dogs to create what the researcher called expressive eyebrows and to create illusions of human-like communication. When dogs make the movement, it seems to elicit a strong desire in humans to look after them, says one of the researchers. She says that humans would have an unconscious preference to protect and breed from dogs with such an appealing trait, giving them an evolutionary advantage in reinforcing this change in subsequent generations. Okay. But how do they do it? The paper also posits two other explanations for what is going on. Eyebrow movement may be significant for human-dog bonding, 
not just because it might elicit a caring response, but also because it might play a role during dog-human communicative interactions. Humans tend to pay attention to the upper facial areas of fellow humans during communication, and the dogs could be responding to this dynamic. A final hypothesis is that exaggerated eyebrow movement exposes the white sclera of the dog's eyes, which humans also have and find appealing in other animals. Other primates have darkened sclera to camouflage their gaze. Finally, let's compare both ancient breeds versus toy dogs. Let's talk about the famous and beautiful Huskies. I love Huskies. A Husky is a sled dog used in northern regions, differentiated from other dog types by their fast pulling style. They are an ever-changing crossbreed of the fastest dogs. The Alaskan Malamute, by contrast, was used for pulling heavy loads. Huskies are used in sled dog racing. In recent years, Companies have been marketing tourist treks with dog sledges for adventure travelers in snow regions as well. Nowadays, Huskies are also kept as pets, and groups work to find new pet homes for retired racing and adventure trekking dogs. That's pretty nice. Husky-type dogs originally were land-raised breeds kept by Arctic indigenous people. As much as they have beauty, they have strength. How amazing, right? Beauty and bronze. Intriguingly, a Siberian Husky that was dissected did not possess one of the two muscles that were present in other dog breeds, which pull the corners of their eyelids towards the ears. That may be because Huskies are an ancient dog breed and the best living representatives of what the link between dogs and wolves may have looked like. Burroughs said the main limitation of the study was the small number of cadavers, four wild wolves and six domestic dogs, and that this is a potential avenue for future study. We're also going to drill down into the interesting variation we saw in the Husky, she said. So we would like to take a look at additional ancient breeds like the Malamute, the Samoyed, and compare that to the toy companion breeds like the Chihuahua and the Yorkie. I used to have a Yorkie. He was crazy, <laughs> but it was cute. The work could also be extended to other animals humans have maintained close contact with, including horses who appear to produce a similar movement and cats. And that's it. Today we discovered the power of the puppies and how they use it to manipulate us humans. Now let's recap. Dogs can manipulate humans to bend us to their wills. Dogs' relatives are the wolves. They become dogs after they become domesticated and they develop the manipulation after that. Huskies are an ancient dog breed. They are cute and deserve all the love in the world. Thank you all for your patience, thank you for your interest, and for your views. We will keep you interested, informed, and most importantly, we will make sure that you are admired. Please subscribe if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!